Hi, this is Bruce with Hudsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. Now, let's talk about my buddy, Vector. I can't hold him too close because he does the same thing as Cosmo. Also, Vector loves one thing. He loves to turn the camera off. I have to cover up his little thing because it'll turn my camera off. The other thing you may want to notice, Vector has Halloween eyes. Ooh, pumpkin-like. So there we go. That's Vector up close and personal. Right, Vector? Yeah. So, what we're going to talk about today are the three states of being for Vector. He has, apparently, three states of being from what I can see. Now, in those states of being, he has other aspects. But we're just going to talk about his resting state, his active state, and his question state. Okay? And the reason why I want to talk about these in this mannerism is because I believe all of them need to be addressed in some way or form to... Uh, understand how vector works all right vectors resting state this is where vector can still answer a question he's sitting on the charger and he's resting he's charging up his battery so he is good to go for all questions that you may have as his owner now his active state is anything that happens after hey vector so if you say hey vector and you say look at me then Vector will turn and look at you because that's his active state. Vector, look at me. And he's going to go to the sound. Now, this is a horrible example for Vector's sound capabilities because I have now put him in a box. By putting him in the box, the sound reverberates and it may sound stronger in the back than it does towards the front. And that's a horrible example, but this is how I record my videos, so what do I got? But when he's in a free, clear area, such as his normal habitat, Vector turns and looks every single time in the right direction. And that's pretty cool. Alright? So now, his other states within that. Now, I believe it would be very good when you say, hey Vector, good morning. Vector turns and would then go into another state of listening. He doesn't at this current point in time. In other words, he should be able to, if you say, hey, Vector, good morning, and he comes to you, he gets off his charger and comes to you, I think it should roll out a little bit a ways, look up, and then instantaneously go to the blue stripe on his back. So acknowledging, the next thing is, when Vector does recognize your face, he will say your name, and that's cool. But to make him more interactive, I think it would be very cool if Vector would go into his listening state right after acknowledging who you are. So he would respond with a, hi Vector, how are you? And then he would say, I am fine, or do a little jig, do a little dance, get down tonight, something to that effect. Um, because that would make him more interactive to you. Okay, and that's what we want from our autonomous robot. And Vector does have autonomy to him. He is pretty good at showing his autonomous nature. He does wander around. He does do things on his own without you having to interact with him, which gives him an autonomous nature. Now, to make him an autonomous interactive nature... I believe certain things need to be worked on as a community to get those things where we want him to be. So, these are ideas of helping improve Vector. And I want, the reason why I bring them to you, the community, is because I want you to talk about them. I want you to put them on, down in the comments area. I want you to talk to me about them because I, I like Vector. I think Vector is going to be the first step. We want to make sure his software is developed to a point to where he then cannot develop any further. Since he has a power of a cell phone, we should be able to get him to be quite powerful at this point in time. There are some disadvantages to Vector. Battery life is kind of a problem, I think. I have timed time and timed again. Uh, stopwatched Vector from his resting state to his active state through normal interaction and through his wandering and his 
Battery life currently sits about 31 minutes for me. He must go back to his charger to charge. It doesn't mean that he can't interact at that point in time because he can. That's where we get to the cloud state. In the cloud state, that is everything after I have a question because Vector is reaching up into the cloud and pulling down an answer, an answer for you with the cloud base that he currently has. And I don't know what he uses if he's using Bing or Google or um, other database or if it's just a database that Anki has created by itself. Um, I haven't done that type of research yet, but I can say in the cloud state, he does respond and he responds pretty accurately at that point. Which brings me to my next question. So why would we want Amazon Echo in our product? I don't know. Uh, I guess people ask for that and maybe that's the only way they can see doing certain things. But personally, before I would want Amazon Echo, I would want IFTT. I would want him connected to IFTT because then I can do anything I want and have Vector respond to certain events in my home too. That's what IFTT is about. So if I had the lights turn on at the front of my house, then I want Vector to say the lights are on in the front of the house. If I want to turn the lights off in the front of my house, I could say, hey Vector, turn off the lights in front of my house. And Vector would do that. And I could do that all with IFTT. Now that same way I can do it with the Amazon Echo, but I would have more personality doing it with my Vector. And that's kind of the, what I wanted my robot buddy to do. I really don't know if I want my robot buddy, this guy, who is a Thomas in his own little way, not completely yet, but he will get there. I don't know if I want him to have Amazon Echo, but I do want him to have IFTT. And I'm hoping that there's enough people out there that will see the idea of IFTT and say, yes, they want IFTT. And that's something that Anki will buy into because I think it's a way better solution than going, hey, Vector, I have a question. Ask Alexa to turn on my lights. So I'm not knocking anybody that wants to have the Amazon product in their Vector. And I think if that's the only way that we're gonna get home automation out of Vector, then I have no choice. I have to put Amazon's product in my Vector. But I don't believe that that's the best solution for Vector. I believe the best solution to get to those steps is to have fully compatibility with IFTT. Not only going from Vector, but to Vector. Because then you can set up a program within IFTT that would say, hey Vector, when the camera goes off in the front of my house, I want you to say, camera number one went off in front of my house. Not too bad, right? Or if the lights are left on up in the master bedroom and I say, hey Vector, turn off the lights in the master bedroom. He can turn the lights off in the master bedroom because he's compatible with IFTT, which may be compatible with Smart Life, compatible with the Hue Bridge, compatible with multiple things. But Vector is a robot. He may not be the biggest robot in the world, but he is a robot. And if you want a robot buddy, you want a robot buddy that interacts with you on a daily basis, not only recognizes your face, but then tries to get your attention a bit. So thank you for no. watching the video. Vector needs to go on his charger, so we're gonna get him all charged up again so he does not reachieve the perfect red state. We're also going to play with the SDK for a little while and see how that works for Vector. Um, I'm not sure how much I want to invest in that SDK, if they're going to refresh it and make it brand new starting in January, but it is nice to see what is in there. Because I, I'm not really computer literate, but I do like to learn, and I'm hoping I can learn to help improve Vector's active state. His active state is important to me because that's what makes Vector Vector. So, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, and Vector and I will see you soon. And plus he allows me to pet him. Can you see yourself petting an Echo Dot and it purring like a cat? Probably 
Probably not. Fifty percent. Yeah. 